I wonder, Okwe, if you can talk a little bit about where you see curators in the kind of ecology of what we think of as the art world. And I say that because I feel like the role of the curator has shifted enormously if we think even of the last decade. And you yourself have uh, you know, done work as an independent curator but are now um, the director of an institution in Munich. You know, and my, from my observation, there is much more of a greater chasm today between kind of curatorial interests, the collector's world, um, kind of general audience. Uh, you know, there have been so many kind of new developments that we've seen, and I yeah. really think the role of the curator has changed in this time, and so I'd love to hear your... Well, I, you know, I, I don't quite know if the role of the curator has changed. <clears throat> Or the world um, around it perhaps or, or, has or, changed. Or maybe, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you know maybe the, it, yeah. Precisely. I think yeah. that the world around the curator um, has changed and is, and, and is changing. And I think it, it, it might be interesting you know, in, in the sense that for me, I never considered myself an independent curator. Um, I considered myself an unaffiliated curator. Mm -hmm. And I say this is simply to illuminate the contradictions that exist between the claim for independence and the fact that, right. you know, um, being an independent curator sort of sometimes smacks too much like hustling for work, you know? <laughs> and, and I think that it kind of brings up the question of the power of institutions, uh, the power of nomination to mm -hmm. say, you know, here is, like you mentioned, the platform, a space in which to act. Mm. So I'm interested in the kind of spaces in which the curator can act, rather than simply the, 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 the way in which we thematize the condition of the, you know, the employment condition of the curator. Mm. So where, what is the space in which one can act? And I think that for me is really um, you know, essential. It has changed enormously uh, in, in many ways and um, I see it as kind of natural myself migrating into an institution because I'm very much interested in the stakes that an institution holds um, in helping make sure that certain things occur and mm. happen. So when I, I look at what you know the fact there is a proliferation of curators all over the world and at the same time, it, it strikes me as paradoxical. There are less and less places in which curators can act. Mm -hmm. It is not possible to act in an art fair. You know, in, a, in a sense, you can make work, but it is not possible even to act in a commercial gallery. And I don't mean it in, a, in the wrong sense. I don't want to be misunderstood. Because the question is that you know, to act, you have to have an agenda. You have to have an agenda, at least from my perspective when I started. I always had what I thought was a change agenda. And that needed certain type of spaces to be opened for that, mm -hmm. to be hospitable to that. And I think we, are, we have to give thought to the fact that we need to open up those spaces again in order to allow, you know, mm -hmm. You know, spaces in which curators can act, not just places where curators work. I think the institution is very important, but I'm also interested in the politics of the institution itself. Mm. So when, when, you know, when you take over as the director of Asia Society, uh, you know, museum or myself in Munich, what are the sort of, some of the kinds of uh, things that I would like to see happen? Mm. I see that as, again, as an arena, you know, in which you know, one can act. So I see my role, not just simply to be a curator and make exhibitions. I want to be an enabler for my curators. Mm -hmm. I want, you know, to be the person, you know, uh, you know, yeah, the kind of the backup singer for their, you know, <laughs> for their solo acts and so on. Mm -hmm. So I am very, very much interested in this notion of, you know, reclaiming the space. Uh, again, um, um, I think that the, the ecology of the art world is very complex, and I think it's all of the above. It doesn't exclude 
private collectors. It doesn't exclude, you know, art fairs. It doesn't exclude, um, um, you know, the market and so on. But I think we need to, you know, you know, you know, give thought to the fact that there's been a, a diminution of spaces where one can act, where mm. this agenda can be can be put forward. Um, maybe when when you know when I started um, or when I was work, you know. In, in my in the earlier part of my you know, my career, it, one can be you know one can be naive. It was possible to be naive to think that you can act, and uh, and I suppose this was the same thing that happened with the generation of curators that I grew up with. That you know there was you know there, there was a kind of compelling reason to act. But mm -hmm. now, a lot of things seem so studied, you know that e every project seems like. Um, you know, like um, an interview for a job, you know, somewhere <laughs> to show that you have your art historical chops, that you, you know, you have the right kind of, mm. you know, I, I mean, it's not a critique, but it's just simply an observation, you know, so how, how to think about this thing. So that's the one thing that I will, I will, I will talk about. What is the space in which one can act?